My dad called the studio a laboratory. I suppose that makes Sam Phillips a mad scientist of sorts. Like building a Frankenstein. You get in there and you work on this thing until it starts walking. The youngest son of the Sun Studio legend. I'm a Phillips and I'm proud of that heritage. Wears respect and love for his dad right on his sleeve. I wanted the Howlin' Wolf on there because not only is it my, was it my father's favorite artist, it's also my favorite artist. But the man who helped catapult Sam's studio into fame ain't nothing but a hound dog who became king. I had no interest in doing anything that had already been done. His dad's love of difference started back in Alabama as a boy. In a segregated country, he says Sam looked beyond color, simply seeing someone's talent. When he got out of church on Sundays, he'd go by the black church that was there and sit out and listen to the music. In the late 1940s, Sam was working as a radio engineer for WREC, but his eyes and ears were on Beale. He wanted to record the blues with black artists, giving those without a shot a place to shine. On his own, he opened what was then Memphis Recording Service, and through the door walked a white man, who Sam felt could showcase black rhythm. Amid racial line, he saw his ticket to reaching the masses with rock and roll. He blew the racial barriers in, in radio and music out the window, man. The spark of a special relationship. Phillips was like a second father to Elvis Presley. Hug a love, GK the GK on your speaker. George Klein befriended Elvis as boys back at Humes High and acted as a right-hand man for the mega musician throughout his career. I was there from day one when it happened. I was with the guy who turned the world around. Watching firsthand the impact Phillips had on his best friend. Whatever he said worked out for Elvis. Even the pair's decision to part ways on paper. Sam sold Elvis's contract to RCA Records, both parties parlaying the move into huge success. It put him back on top financially to where he could do Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash. Everybody knows where you go when the sun goes down. His story, written with and in the stars. You can't make this stuff up any better. His son says to pull him off on screen will take that special charisma. He could have been a very great preacher. You know, he could save your soul. <laughs> and his soul, through sound and stories, certainly lives on. He said about Howlin' Wolf, that's where the soul of man never dies.